Hey guys, I've been noticing oil stains on my driveway, so I'm going to show you where the oil is leaking from and how to fix it. So you can see there's some oil at the bottom of the filter assembly here, and it looks like it's coming from the two rusty plugs on the side. To make really sure though that it's coming from the plugs and not the cap, I wiped off all the oil and I'll drive around a bit and then check it again. Sometimes air currents under the car will spread oil around and make it seem like the leak is coming from somewhere else. So I've been driving for a few days and the drops have reappeared in exactly the same spot and there's no oil next to the filter cap so I'm very sure that it's coming from the plugs now. I'm going to go ahead and replace them. Since I don't have a lot of room here and I'm filming, I'm going to remove the front wheel and splash guard but it should be fairly easy to change these plugs without doing this. To remove the splash guard is very simple, there are just a few screws and clips on the side and underneath. So here's a better view. I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil now because I need to do an oil change. This is a great time to do an oil change if you need to. I'll be removing the oil filter later to drain the oil out of the filter assembly also. For a full oil change video, check out the video linked up in the cards. Always make sure the plug gasket is on when reinstalling the oil drain plug. Here are the shiny new plugs. I'm going to have part numbers and links down in the video description in case anybody needs them. So let's remove the plugs. I'm going to crank them loose. And now they'll come out by hand easily. Make sure to have a drain pan below because some oil will spill out. And remove the other bolt. So the bolts are out but both washers stuck on. So I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and carefully remove them making sure not to scratch the metal. So here are the old plugs and washers. You can see there's a lot of rusting on the edges. This is what caused the oil leak. I'm going to remove the oil filter now. This will help stop the oil dripping out of the plug holes and then I can wipe off the area clean. So I'm making sure the area is completely dry and oil free. This will help to achieve the proper torque when I tighten down the plugs. Alright so it's all dry. I'm going to put the plugs in now. And I'm going to torque them down. Alright, so the new plugs are in and torqued down. That should fix the leak. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the oil filter. Then I'll put the splash guard and wheel back on. If you're changing the oil, make sure to put the new oil in. And I got the car started. I'm going to check for a few minutes and make sure there are no leaks. Then I'm going to take it for a test drive. So here's what it looks like after a few days of driving. You can see it's oil free. That means the oil leak is fixed. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll be posting more car, home and other repair videos in the future. Thanks for watching.